single men. Where are you hanging out that would be okay for a woman to hit on you? Literally anywhere except if I'm with my parents or something. I've been single so long I wouldn't want my mom to get all excited. Damn bro seriously. My parents are literally telling me it's okay to be gay just because I've never brought a girl home to meet them. They're so desperate they'll take anything it seems. My parents have moved on to just a new friend. The bar is on the ground. The girls who most made it clear they were into me asked for help somewhere where they clearly did not really need it. Example group hiking trip asked me to hold her hand in a slippery area. She had better shoes than me and it wasn't really slippery. Sitting next to me at a live music event and just starting up a conversation. Sitting on my lap at a party. All were strangers. And I appreciated all of their clear signals as someone who generally misses things. An age range of the men you're looking for would be helpful for it would better inform our answers. BTW. I applaud your effort to find a mate outside old. Is old an abbreviation or? 1. Find one or two female friends too. Sign up for a game night at a local game store 3. Begin sorting through nerds thrilled to meet a woman interested in their hobby. I'm really into nerds, so I'm keeping this in my back pocket. Women hitting on me doesn't happen very often. If it was to happen I'm not even sure I'd notice it or know what to do. I agree with others who are saying, don't do stuff like drop hints and wait for the guy to make the move. Be playful, flirty, and erect. If you want to ask a guy out or onto a date just do it. I imagine my experience is common for guys. Agreed. The few times I have noticed women who were into me pretty much did not make a move and I had to ask them out. One comes to mind who would come to my repair shop, bikes, and I could sense she was interested but would never ask me out. I eventually asked her out and she said yes. Gym works if women are the ones approaching. It doesn't end well the other way around. Very true. I'm dating a woman I met on Hinge. Turns out we both go to the same gym. But I never noticed her. I just focus on my workouts and avoid hitting on any women. Everywhere. This. They could break into a guy's house and most wouldn't be too upset about that. Assuming they were attractive anyway. Or even semi-attractive. Pretty much anywhere. So long as I'm not wearing earbuds or something. But I honestly don't think you're talking about me. I've never been asked out by a random person. I disagree. If I'm wearing headphones, say at the gym, it's okay for people to talk to me. I just don't want to listen to that garbage music playing at the gym. It's not motivating for a workout, but I'm open to talk. Cultivate a wider range of platonic friends. Many relationships spawn from viral friend of friends or friends introducing you to others that they see potential with. Get some new hobby based friends and see if they have singles in their circle. Worst case scenario, you have more friends. In addition, let them know that you are actively looking and would like to be set up with someone that may be a match. People do not assume this. I have had a few times in my life where I could have met someone amazing, but I was not clear on my intent. My friends passed me up and they met someone else. Anywhere you see me out in public would be fine. Walking the dog, at a store, beach swimming, gym, and so on. I've had ladies gesture for me to take out my earbuds in the past too which was fine. For me, 33, sparking a conversation when hiking would be okay, well, I think I wouldn't mind anywhere aside from work. Lola for woman was hitting on me while I was hiking. I would have no idea, I'd just be trotting along with them, making conversation, thinking they were really nice. Depends what kind of man you are looking for really. I'm an introverted, bookish, accountant in my 30s. I rarely go out, and you will never find me at a bar or something like that, occasionally a pub. But in those circumstances I'm going with friends for some good chatting, and unless you get seated next to my group and strike up a convo chances, are slim you get a chance to shoot your shot. You would have much better chance finding me in a coffee shop or a bookstore. And if I'm at a coffee shop chances are I have a book. Either way, being friendly and asking about the books is going to give you a solid in. And I will reciprocate the engagement. Because having an unexpected conversation with a pleasant person often makes my day. 
to any woman reading this, never hesitate to talk to a guy, because I guarantee you, they will feel happy you did so 100%. You literally cannot F it up, even if they say no. They'll still be flattered I'm mainly saying this, because I'm too afraid to make the first move. Anywhere. Any time. Any place. I don't care if it's my mom's fucking funeral. Please just do it lol. Ski lift. You have a captive audience for a few minutes. And men usually outnumber women at these places. Of course. You would need to time the line correctly to get on the same gondola or chair as your target. Honestly always feels like it's not enough time though. Like you've got 3 ish minutes. You can start building some rapport. But not enough to ask for a phone number or something. Literally anywhere. I'd be giddy for a week if a woman approached me. Damn it I said that out loud. PSH. Look at this guy. Forgetting about a girl after a week. I still remember this one girl approaching me from years ago. I was so taken aback by it that I didn't even know how to respond. We awkwardly joked for a minute or two. But the conversation quickly died after that because I was speechless. I was also totally confused by her intentions. Which was totally my fault. When I was single, I was mostly doing activities to gain skills for things that I enjoy doing outside of my educational and professional life. I participated regularly in judo, taiko drum classes, soccer, beach adventures, dungeons and dragons role playing, swimming, and hiking. Just go out and do healthy things to progress yourself in gaining hobbies and activities that you enjoy doing and learning and you'll meet the like-minded people that you would want to be in relationships with. Solo guy here, not single, anywhere is fine. Really, although it might be awkward if I'm on a date. That's even worked for me. I was on a first date that spontaneously turned into a double date with random people next to us. Afterwards my date sent me a really nice text saying we didn't have a spark, but I should go out with the other woman who had let my date know she wasn't interested in her date. I hear the supermarket is good. As cliched you meet people at the supermarket is. I have yet to hear about one case that ever had any semblance of element that would fit into this situation. I ran into friends and coworkers, But the only interactions there are those awkward oops almost had a collision at the end of aisles. I was at a bar and a lady explicitly asked if she could hit on me. I told her I'd have to check with my wife. We had a little chuckle and she left. But hey huge boost to my self esteem and was cool of her to go out on a limb like that. As a guy, I think nowhere is safe to approach a woman. For a woman. Ah uh, maybe mostly the opposite is true. Open bracket question mark close bracket. If I'm in a bookstore and a lady approaches me, yellow flag at worst green at best. Some guys might think you're trying to sell them MLM type stuff. Other guys might think it's a trap slash trick. But, I admire your approach and wish you luck. Literally anywhere. Pretty much anywhere you see people, you will find single men. Just remember that we have been conditioned to not be creepy. Most of the time, we'll just tell ourselves you're being friendly. So, you might have to make it a little more obvious. Like saying, Hey, you're cute. Want to grab some coffee sometime? Here's my number. As a side question. What is old? Old equals online dating. It doesn't matter where you do it. Most dudes will be ecstatic to be hit on. No matter the situation. But make sure you are very obvious with your approach. Most girls think they are sending signals or dropping hints. And I promise almost no guy will pick up on. Or take action on the hints. If you approach a man open with something along the lines of hey I think you're really cute slash funny slash smart slash interesting slash whatever. I'd like to get to know you better. The more obvious the better. Us men are very simple creatures. Everywhere. Dog park. This is a good one. Even if you don't have a dog. There's occasionally someone at our dog park who's just there to kill time. Waiting for someone at the medical building down the block and just wanted to see some dogs playing. Maybe pet a few. You also get to see how someone treats animals, which is a pretty good indicator of what kind of person they are. And if nothing else, you can usually pet some dogs. Anywhere other than work. 
but that's because I work white collar and actually give a ref about my job. Back in my gas station slash fast food slash retail slash warehouse days I wouldn't have given a ref. I don't care where you do it. I won't pick up on it until hours or days later. Yep. I'm that guy. Yes. Find a place where men are doing the things you'd like to do with them and hit on them there. Are you super into home repairs? Then try Home Depot or get involved in a fix-it workshop. If you don't that seems like a bad option. Yes, 